Good morning. Isn't this bridge beautiful? Yesterday we did our 5K walk. Me and Maria Bowser. I probably did 0.5, so I'm not gonna lie. They said, Mr. White, did you run across the bridge? I said, at what point? But it's a beautiful day for our city. I wanna thank our fearless leader uh, in City Hall. I'm sorry, on, on, on Congress, our Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes. Don't give her a round of applause for her leadership and fighting for so long. Not just for equality, for, but for equity for our, for our residents in D.C. Uh, Majority Leader Steny Hoyer for his leadership and our colleague Mayor Mayor Bowser and my colleagues, uh, Council, Councilman Vincent Orange, uh, Councilman Charles Allen, Councilman Nita Bonds and our other colleagues who may not be here today. Um, we, we know that um, Frederick Douglass was born in Maryland, but you know as children you don't get to choose where you grow up at, right? But he chose to come here and stay here in Washington, D.C. And we officially claim him, as Wanda Lockers would say, as a Ward 8 Atonian. <laughs> as he passed uh, in his last days right here in, in Ward 8, right here in Washington, D.C. Frederick Douglass fought not only for his people, but for groups of people that didn't have the opportunities that were alienated right here in what we call the United States. He was the first black person at Seneca Falls Convention, the country's first women's rights convention in 1848. Now they tried to give him an opportunity to vote. And he told them simply, if the women can't vote, then I can't accept this vote. And that's the heart and legacy of the legendary Frederick Douglass. In the spirit of Murray and Burry, when this project was going on, prior to me coming to office, I came in and I kept asking, I believe, David Paschel, send me the numbers. Because I want to know how many residents we have from D.C. working on this project. And she sent me the numbers. And I mean, one day I wasn't happy for some reason. I went down to, to Congress and we raised a little hell. Um, and then I got the report back now that we have 45 contractors from D.C. and 200 workers from D.C. working on this project. And that's simply something to celebrate. What makes us more fitting is that this bridge connects wars six and eight. And Frederick Douglass is indeed a connector. We also are home to the Frederick Douglass House located in Ward 8 in the Cedar community. Today, with the renovations of this beautiful project, we want to ensure that we continue to fight, as Frederick Douglass said, the struggle continues. For those residents of D.C., particularly black residents of D.C., who feel like this is not their D.C. anymore. And more importantly, for our children. When we hear the students from Duke Ellington, I always wonder, what about the children? And Frederick Douglass said, I'm going to paraphrase this. He said, it's easier to build strong, strong females and males, or boys and girls, and it is repair broken men and women. So as we build these bridges, we must also remember that we also got to build the people up in Washington, D.C. says the city thrives and the people of Washington, D.C. thrives as well. And I want to thank our mayor, Mayor Bowser, for her leadership because she don't get all the credit that she deserves because a lot of great things happen in D.C., was a result of count of our former council member, but now Mayor Murray Bowser. So I want to thank you for having us. I'd like to also you give a round of applause for that. Now, now Council Member Allen, I don't know if I'm in War Eight or War Six right now. <laughs> War Eight Six, rock paper scissors. We're gonna figure it out. But next, I would like to hear from one of our colleagues, um, War Six representative, Council Member Charles Allen. Put your hands together. I think the middle is dividing line between six and eight. So if I lean forward, I'm in six right now. Good morning, everybody, and, and thank you for coming out. I know it is, it's sunny and hot, so I will try to be somewhat brief here. Um, but a lot of thank yous are due to a lot of people. Um, the the dynamic, dynamic duo in Congress. Uh, we were with them together when we broke ground. They have seen this project all the way through. Leader Hoyer and our warrior on the hill, Eleanor Holmes Norton, thank you both so much for making this happen. You heard earlier that this has spanned, I think, at least three DDOT directors, um, maybe more, I'm not sure. And we, we have Jeff Rudin here and Everett Lai here, but there's been one mayor who has seen it all and who helped lead the way to make sure we got this done, to get this done right, and to get it done early. So, Mayor Bowser, congratulations and thank you for your leadership and hard work. 
Now, I represent Ward 6, which is that side, and my good friend Trayon White represents Ward 8 right here. And in the, in the metaphor, in the lexicon and metaphor world, rivers divide and bridges unite. Um, now, I'll say I think this is a little bit different here. Um, this bridge with its, thank you, amazing spans, <laughs> it is iconic. It is absolutely iconic and beautiful. And I can see this, you know, great cities have great bridges. They just do. Uh, when you look at other cities, you know them by their bridges. And no disrespect to that piece of concrete over there, but this is an iconic bridge. This will be a bridge you see and national audiences will see on TV constantly. They'll do the shot of the dome, absolutely first. Then they're gonna cut to this. And what I'm excited about is that it will not just be the picture, but they will say, here is the Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge. They will use his name and we will invoke our great Anacostia River, the great bridge that spans the two. And I think it will be truly inspiring as we all work toward and we recognize and then we ultimately realize the Douglas Commonwealth and DC statehood. And this bridge will play a role in that. So to my fellow state senators, Vince Gray, Anita Bonds, and Trayon White, thank you very much. Um, and then also to the men and women uh, wearing the hard hats and the vests, thank you for your incredible hard work on this. You have done something that I, I truly believe and I hope you will be visiting this space. You will be walking across it, driving across it, even biking across it. And you're gonna tell your kids and your grandkids and your great grandkids, I helped build that. And we're really grateful and we appreciate it. So congratulations everyone, Mayor Bowser again, a hearty congratulations and thank you all very much.